Hello everybody, Rosemary here. Hope you're all keeping well. Today I would like to share a tutorial with you on how I made this card using the lovely Lavinia stamps. The items you will need are a piece of multifarious card which measures 10 by 14 centimetres. The stamps I'm going to use are the, the small, one of the small ones from the crow set. He looks a bit like the large barrack. Um, the large drake stamp, the mini berries from the, the reef set, the tree branch and the forest creeper. I'm also using the medium aperture from the acetate circle masks. Um, we're going to use prize ribbon distress ink, the new one from Tim Holtz, which is quite nice. Um, Versafine clay in acorn and shady lane and also the Versafine Black Onyx ink. We're also going to use the red and the green and the gold jelly roll pens and always have a white one handy just in case I'm, I need to use that as well. Um, you'll need an acrylic block or your stamping platform and you'll also need a water bottle, a spray bottle. So to start with, We are going to get our blue ribbon distress ink and press it into our craft mat. And then we're going to spray with water. Just a few sprays. I also usually spray a little bit onto my card as well. And then we're just going to smooch that into our card until we're happy until we get like that. just dampen some of that off and then I'm going to use my heat gun I'm sorry it's a bit noisy And then we're going to replace it into our ink and we should this time get some nice texture on our second layer. Never do two the same, every single one is different. I'm going to just pick up a little bit more in this white area here just to give it a little bit more texture. There we go, that'd be fine. mop up our excess, excess ink and there's our background card does bend a little bit but once it's fully dry it always goes back to its original shape which is flat the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my aperture and looking at my other card that I've already made I'm going to place my aperture about there and I'm going to hold it in place with some low tack masking tape I'm going to make a moon now. I'm going to spray some water onto my craft mat. I'm going to get brush and I'm just I don't not too worried about removing all the colour. I just want to lighten it because it will maybe still look like the moon has a pattern. So I'm using a bit of water just to dampen down and then I'm going to use a damp cloth to pick some of the colour out don't want to make it too wet I just want it to look lighter than the other areas in the card
I'm quite happy with that now. Take it off and see. So as you can see, you can see the shape of where my moon is going to be. Wipe off my water. Put my aperture away. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp. So I'm getting my stamping mat ready. And some copy paper underneath. I don't really want to get ink on my stamping mat. So the next thing we do is stamp our tree branch. So our tree branch and drake. Oops. So I'm using my acrylic block. Just put my stamp on too. And I'm just lining it up with the bottom of the moon maybe about there I would like Drake to be in the moon so he'll be about there so yes I'm going to stamp just above the bottom of my moon so using my Versafine Claire acorn going to stamp ink up my stamp until the whole thing is covered and then I'm going to line up just with the bottom of my moon and press just try to make sure I press on each individual branch Leave it there for a couple of seconds, just so the ink will soak into the card and release. There we go. And then I'm going to put a few more branches in. So I've inked up the whole thing, but I'll only use little bits. So I'll have a branch coming this way. have another little bit of a branch coming this way there we go and then I'm going to have another little branch there which Drake um, which the, the little crow is going to be sitting on so I'll wipe my stamp and dry and then I just want to have that little branch there coming in from there just with the little crow to sit on so I'm just inking up my stamp on that area there and then I'm going to wipe the ink away from the branches that I don't want inked up And then I'm going to dry them off as well. And then I'm going to stamp my little branch. And there we go. And that's that part done. So the next part now is to stamp Drake. And we're just going to place him on the branch. And pick him up 
from the branch and then we're going to use our Versa mark Versa fine I mean Versa fine ink Now for Drake, because he's quite a main image on my card, I'm actually going to use my stamping platform, which I've just remembered. So I'll wipe him off. I'll place my card in the centre, in the corner I mean. Hopefully I'll get better at these videos and use all the right words soon. And I'm going to take a piece of acetate because I've already inked up my stamp. So just in case there's any ink on him. I'll place my piece of acetate there. And I need to move my magnet as you can see because it's part the stamp. It's on the stamp. And I'm going to pick up break. And remove the acetate and re ink my stamp. So I'm re inking Drake. Tapping on a couple of times and press. Try to make sure that his feet are sitting on that branch so he doesn't look like he's floating in midair with his wings folded up. Oh, and there we go. Going to re ink him. This usually doesn't happen. My background might be still a little bit damp, so that's why it most probably hasn't taken all the ink in. Got some ink around the edges of my fingers. I'll get rid of that. There we go. keep putting too much ink on so we'll fix that bit in a little while now we're going to stamp on our little crow also making sure that he's sitting oops also making sure that he's sitting on his branch okay him up and press nice and firmly for a few seconds so the ink has a chance to work its way into the card and there we go so that's our main images stamped so now we can move on to stamping our berries oh actually i think i'll stamp i think we'll stamp the vine first the forest creeper this is a new stamp, came out just a little while ago from Lavinia Stamps. It's a very nice image. And get my acrylic block. Put away my black ink and get my shady lane. And 
we're just going to stamp. You can just stamp first generation if you wish, or you can use a first generation and then your second generation to give you a shadow effect. It's not showing up very well. So I think I'll just stick to the first generation. doing different lengths just like they would be in nature that one can come down a bit further Make sure that gently patting the ink all over the stamp. Now I'm just counting, I've done five, so I'm going to do, hopefully get two more in, which will make seven, which in my brain is what I need as nature does things in odd numbers. quite a quick card great for people that love anything gothic make a nice Halloween card as well I suppose yeah or even a Christmas card if you you could use the mistletoe again at the top have it as a Christmas card and splash white ink on the background and the last stamp we're going to use today is our berry stamp I'll place that in the middle and for the berry stamp I, I carried on using the green and I used the second generation so I'll do the first one and then I'll stamp second generation for the actual image just to show you now for the one that comes out of Drake's mouth I inked up the stamp and then I wiped the ink off of all the other berries that I didn't want and just use the one, just dampen them down and then stamp and then have that one coming out of his mouth. It's as if he's feeding his baby. So you can just see the berry and because I'm going to paint well use a pen and make it red and then just randomly put all your berries where you like them once again I will be counting Two, one, two, three, four. that part done. And then to finish off the card I'm going to use my pens. So I'm going to start with the green pen and I'm just going to highlight all the green twigs. 
and I'm using a secure pen because it will give a little bit of glitter to the image, the card. Pen stopped flowing for some reason then. I do prefer to make my backgrounds before and then have them ready so that they're nice and dry when I'm doing my stamping. I just find it makes it easier. And then I'm just going to colour in my berries. Leave that one behind. So it looks like it's behind the branch. This is another thing that I would actually leave until the ink is dry. I usually do all my backgrounds first. I usually set myself a list of things that I need to make. Stamps I need to use. Colours that I need to use. And then I just do some backgrounds. And then I... do each bit as it comes now I'm going to use my gold pen to highlight my crows just makes the card sparkle I'm also going to make the branch sparkle a bit as well I always think it finishes off the Lavinia stamps with a bit of sparkle. I'm doing this first because I'm waiting for that red pen to dry. So I can put a little white mark on there. Following along to the branches. The way they're sitting, the way they've been stamped. Where something would settle like rain or something. That's it for the branches. And uh, now I'm going to just highlight Drake. Such a beautiful bird. just thinking and then I'm just going to highlight the leaves as well just once again to add a bit more sparkle to our Lavinia stamps which are beautiful you can see 
the spark queen there now. These Sakura pens give a, a really lovely effect to finishing touches on your Lavinia cards as well. Right, I'll finish that in a little one. I just want to show you now. I'm just going to put a little mark at the base. Oh, I forgot my cherry. How did I forget that one? It's the main one. Just to bring a bit of light into the berries. I'm still a bit damp, so let that dry. So they're drying now. Just finish highlighting. I'm just doing it roughly just to show you. And to show you all the sparkle on the card from these. You could always add some glitter highlights as well. Even your stamps have some beautiful glitter too. And that will be... Hopefully that one is dry now. Oops. There we go. And that's... Let's see, I hope you can see that sparkle there. And the last thing we're going to do is to just darken up the edge of our card with some archival ink and a little brush, blending brush, a little tiny one that I use for just blending the edges of the inks, the black on a card. And by doing this, it just bring, brings your eye that'd be better. Just brings your draws your eye into the centre of the card. The whole card just on the edge we'll bring it in a little bit and there we go okay i hope you enjoyed my video i just mounted it up a cup piece of black card cut a piece of black card just a little bit bigger and then I just use an A4 a piece of paper and I cut it down to size to put my card on mount my card on you could add some words in the background or there's lots of things you could do I'm looking forward to seeing if you copy my card thank you very much for watching